Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. A new type of video on my channel where I'm going to just give you an update on all the things that have happened with my project Remotion um, since the last time that we have talked. I'm going to show you a few new features, um, developments that we made and at the end also a business update. So let's get started. Enjoy the show. One of the biggest new features in recent time is the Remotion Player. The Remotion Player is one of the most important components that we ship because it allows you to embed a Remotion video into your React app and uh, show it to your visitors. So this is really important if you want to create a video app where the user can in with some UI create a video and uh, see it in real time how it would look like using the Remotion player before you would render the video on the server in the end. So we have finally put it out. It's been in beta for many many months and we took our time to figure out all the browser compatibility stuff, how to handle autoplay restrictions of browsers and um, also how do we make the API so that you can customize everything as much as you can and I think we have finally matured so much that we are now calling the Remotion Player stable. Another feature that I'm really excited about is the new scale option. So when you create a Remotion video you have to explicitly define the height and the width of the video and you're basically locked into that um, afterwards. But with the scale parameter, you can kind of like how it works in Figma, you can define a multiplier like 0.5x or 2x and render a higher resolution or lower resolution uh, version of that video or still image. So if you have initially designed your video in full HD, you can just with one flag now render it in 4k um, and you will not lose any quality like vec like text and vector graphics and images if they have um, high enough of a resolution will automatically be upscaled and uh, will be even sharper um, so that is pretty cool i think also recently we have introduced a new custom error overlay that pops up if your Remotion project contains an error. And uh, well, it has dark mode, it has um, features specific to Remotion, like um, asking on Discord or searching the Remotion GitHub issues, which is uh, pretty cool. It has a unique look compared to like the standard overlay that you know. And also it now lives in our repository which has allowed us to um, tailor it very much to Remotion's needs um, like refreshing the composition after an error has been cleared works now much better and uh, the advantage for us is that we have removed a dependency and are able to maintain it um, a lot easier and maybe we can make it even more useful in the future now that all the code lives in our repository. There have been two ways to create a new video. Um, one was npm init video. This would create a video with npm and then there was yarn create video. That would, it would do the same thing but it would use yarn as the package manager for installing the dependencies. And now we have added a new package manager that is like the new kit that's coming up. It's called PNPM, Performant NPM. Uh, it uses a new approach for dependency management and I like it very much, so much that actually the Remotion Monorepo is also using PNPM now. It is faster to install the dependencies with its uh, unique strategy of uh, managing all the packages on your system. And uh, yeah, now we also support creating a video 
using that package manager. And for that, you just type in pnpm create video and it will initialize a new project and install the dependencies using pnpm. Maybe you are familiar with the delay render and continue render APIs. Essentially, if you are drawing something that takes some time to complete or are loading some data, um, you would call delay render and once your drawing is done, you can call continue render and uh, only then will Remotion take a picture for your video so that there is no loading state in the video in the end. Um, one restriction was that there was a hard-coded 30 second timeout after you have not called continue render after calling delay render um, but for some cases like drawing some really complex um, artsy stuff it was just not enough and you needed a way to um, have a bigger timeout because these graphics can sometimes get really complex and now we have an option to specify a custom timeout and render more complex stuff. I am not saying you should do this but if you want to you can now disable all cross-site origin restriction in Google Chrome during rendering. Um, no more course errors, it will just work very insecure but if you like to live dangerously you can now do it. Similarly, there is now an option for setting the OpenGL renderer that Google Chrome is using during render. And uh, this is pretty interesting because before I started with Freemotion, I had no idea that there were different renderers um, available for Google Chrome, but actually there are like a bunch of different ones. Um, so it uses a different default on every system and there are software renders like Swift Shader which uh, might be useful for the cloud and uh, there are hardware accelerated renders like Angle that are useful for um, local rendering and uh, yeah actually they have a bunch of tiny differences um, like some WebGL stuff is only supported in some renders and not in others. Um, some use more memory, some use less, and um, some are faster in certain scenarios and slower in others. So as a first step, we have added the option to set which renderer you want to use for your project. And we hope that in the future, we can document the trade-offs between all these different renderers and uh, give you some advice when to use which OpenGL renderer. But as a first step, we now allow you to set which one you want to use. If you want to listen to some music while you are coding your animation and you don't care about the audio that the Remotion video currently has, you can now use the new mute button in the timeline to mute the audio and just ignore it, listen to some other music while you grind out your animation. We now have support for a public folder. So previously if you wanted to import any assets you would use an import or require statement but our webpack configuration would not um, handle all the possible file formats that were out there. So now you can just load it um, via a public folder and this is also pretty nice because with the Remotion player you can now also embed Remotion into a Next.js or Create React app. app. And uh, these frameworks also have a public folder. So now you can kind of like merge your Remotion and Create React app apps and just um, share one public folder and it will work in both contexts whether you are developing the video, rendering the video or making a website you can use the same folder for everything. Um, 
pretty important that we finally added support for this. You know, when you create a new project, be it a Next.js app or pretty much any JavaScript project, it will scaffold out um, the files for you, install the dependencies, and then it says, now just type npm start to start a project. You type in npm start and then you realize you forgot that you first have to cd into that directory. Um, well, it happens to me pretty much every single time. And so I thought, well, can we make it better for Remotion? And as it turns out, um, whenever a new project gets created, um, that is a so-called child process, and that child process cannot change the current working directory of the parent process. So even though it would be a nice user experience, it is simply not possible. Well, um, but we have made another nice uh, improvement that I think only Remotion has, um, which is that after you have created a project, it will ask you if you want to open it in VS Code or any other editor that you use, um, whatever is your default editor. And uh, that will open it up in your editor and if you use the terminal in there, then uh, you are already in the right directory. So I hope that this is helpful and that we can also um, avoid that you, the user, make this mistake because I know it happens to me all the time. Now let's move on to some DevOps updates, I guess. Um, we have changed uh, in a few ways a bit how we work. Um, first of all, we now use pnpm as the manager to manage our monorepo and that sped it up a lot. And also a few days ago, we introduced turbo repo to make our local and CI builds even faster. And uh, those have been some really, really nice changes that uh, makes us go even faster. And uh, also we had a few incidents where like some of the dependencies that we rely on would just um, push out a broken update um, either being malicious, where the author would just like delete their package essentially, or um, they would try to release a new version that supports ES modules, but um, it breaks all the other environments. And um, to avoid that happening all the time, because uh, it does seem actually quite unstable, we have now started pinning down all the versions um, of the dependencies that we use um, for now to make everything more stable. And now let's move on to the business update because Remotion is not just a fun framework, it is a dead serious business actually. First of all, revenue. We have made quite some jumps there. Um, since the last video I made where we had about $1,500 in yearly revenue, we have now more than tripled that to more than $5,000 in yearly revenue. Um, still not enough to live a life, um, still not sustainable, but we like where it's going and um, making that much independently as a passive income um, from open source is something that I really like. In response to our announcement of becoming a company, also a few venture capital firms have reached out, um, mostly from the United States, Silicon Valley, some well-known names actually and uh, have showed some interest in investing in Remotion or they just want to have some initial talks and I talked to some of them which was a new and uh, exciting experience for me and um, well I also told them that I don't think that we immediately need to raise a bunch of money because 
everything is kind of going really well without any money, which is um, uh, which uh, <laughs> begs the question: <laughs> Why do we need more money? Because uh, I enjoy I enjoy how it is going right now, um, but I'm I've made some connections and. If needed, I hope that I can leverage them and raise some money if we decide to get even more ambitious about this project. I think these are all the updates that I wanted to share right now. I want to give a shout out to Andreas Kling who inspired me with his monthly updates to Serenity OS. Um, which I always watch and enjoy a lot. I also hope to bring out these video updates more regularly. Um, summarize what we announce all the time, the new features and also share what is happening behind the scenes, show you that we are working hard to make it even better and progressing. Um, uh, thanks a lot for watching and see you next time. Have a good one.